Welcome back to Insurmountable. We just did the very first mission in Mountain 2. So, let's do another one. There's a whole bunch we can choose from. But let's start with... I don't know. Let's start with this one. A vast crater with a steep conical rise. We need to find four temporal anomalies. A vast crater. That sounds really cool. Okay, we have cold weather and cold nights. Okay, so body temperature is really important. Switch to the adventure, we get a bonus with them. <clears throat> I think they also are kind of perfect because we have almost all of the nighttime bonuses. Yeah, 40% less energy cost on all terrain while at night. Um... Plus three body temperature per hour when moving at night. Double experience at night. Yeah, let's be a night owl. Now we're going to get a lot more temp at night, but I think we should still pack warm. Flashlight. Let's put it over here so it actually is already equipped. <laughs> That's definitely going to be a must. It was before, but now especially because we're going to be running at night a lot. Mm, we have a little bit more capacity. Oh, a torch only takes five. Only takes um, five capacity. Still, it's not worth taking because it only lasts for eight hours. It gives you more light than on a flashlight, but yeah, I'd rather just have the flashlight because that works forever. No durability. <clears throat> mm, I suppose we don't need the oxygen mask, but it would still be a good thing to have. Because of course we're going to go into the death zone, undoubtedly. So... I don't really know. Moon herb, maybe? For some sanity? Ooh, maybe safety rope. Ignore dangerous terrain for a limited time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 let's take that. Here we go. Instead of like a vast crater. Are we really in a crater? I guess. I guess. Bit of an odd crater. It's weird that there's so many high points in the middle of the crater. I don't really get that, but whatever. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that we have sprint. I really need to get another active skill. Oh, we're really close to the death zone. Oh, but I guess we're well, well, more about that later. You come across the ruined foundation of a former dwelling. Herbs are growing in a recess, but just as you're about to gather them, a protruding stone catches your eye. It looks like it could be moved. Some kind of switch, perhaps? Mm. Last time I couldn't flip the switch. I didn't have the energy. Flip at the switch. You push the switch, but it jams. You press it harder until beads of sweat form on your forehead. Then there's a click and a clack, and a secret compartment opens up in the floor. Your heart leaps with joy. Inside, there's valuable equipment. Oh my god, it's a high-quality oxygen mask. Whoa. Didn't know there even was such a thing. Which direction are we heading for the anomalies? this direction. Let's try to stay out of the death zone, so let's not go up and over. Let's go just kind of like down and around that way, I guess.
to remember, try to sleep during the day. Let's examine the crystals. We get energy and XP. Better oxygen or consumable gives us more body temp. Let's get oxygen. Although between that and the high quality oxygen mask, I think we'll be fine. Ooh, hold on. There's a cave down here. A little bit of a circuitous route, but... Still worth it. It's not too bad. Sleeping. Let's just sleep. I'm trying to remember that we don't want to sleep through the night time, so let's sleep just briefly. Let's try to make the night last as long as possible. Let's sprint. So yeah, how's our temp looking? If we move like here, we're losing still a significant amount of temperature. Not too bad though. But yeah, it really is cold, huh? Really is cold. I know we get double experience. Was there anything else we get for going at nighttime? I can't remember. Like, does it take less energy? Well, I'm not going to look through all those status effects. Mm. Oh, there's a thick black cable. Right. Follow it. Climb down the canyon. Oh. The ledge we're walking on broke, so I don't get any equipment, just XP. Get more stuff when you wake up. Mm, yeah, let's get that. Oh dang. I'll just leave the cave. Can't use our flashlight. Wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's up. Hmm. Might have to climb that mountain. Half buried in the ground, you find a weathered stone plaque. It seems to be old. Very old, in fact. Huh. Let's try to dig it up. As you're digging at the earth with your bare hands, your gaze falls on the characters etched in the stone. 
presumably some kind of writing system. You regret that you're unable to read the characters. There must have been a civilization here a long time ago. What must have led to their downfall? Finally, you're able to free the plaque and lift it up. In the hollow beneath it, you find some provisions. Bandage. Our temperature's pretty awful. Even with all our bonuses at night, it might still be better to go during the day. Then again... No, actually, I don't think it is. Because we'll get temperature back during the day from sleeping as well. So it's not like we need to move to get temperature. Some nice stuff in this little cubby here. Treasure chest and two guaranteed good events. A stranger is sitting motionless on a rock. His naked torso is adorned with a number of tattoos. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I remember because they're naked in the freaking snow. Talk to the stranger? Last time they didn't like it. The stranger opens his eyes and gives you a stern look. Looks like he's alive. Okay, ask him if he needed help didn't work before. I can't leave him food, so I'm just going to leave you alone, buddy. Sorry. Sorry for bothering you. Hmm. Hmm. Warmth or energy? At this point, I think warmth. Oh, sorry. Hit the microphone. The wishing tree. As you approach a skeletal tree, you discover a you discover countless red ribbons with golden lettering tied to its spindly branches. Unfortunately, you can't decipher the writing. You don't know why, but for some reason you find this spot very moving. You make a wish for energy. Yeah, let's <clears throat> let's head up. Oh no! 3% energy cost on all terrain. Injured leg. Um. Let's sleep some of that off. Do I want to sleep away half the night? Sleep long. Sleeping away half the night, but I think it's worth it in this case. Let's sprint. Oh wait, that's a dead end. How do I get across? We're going up that way. Decrease energy cost. So that I hopefully don't have to sleep. There's the anomaly. Yep, 
basically summit fever is counteracting counteracting my injured leg. reach a wide open plain, but suddenly lightning shoots out of the ground. Some kind of see-through ice cloud rises up and moves slowly towards you. You found the anomaly. Or did it find you? This feels very much stalkerish. Throw something into the anomaly. A bolt. You search the ground for a small rock. Your scientific curiosity is stronger than your worry about how the cloud will react. Once the rock has landed in the middle of the apparition, it loses all momentum, stopping dead. You see small veins forming on the surface. They begin to grow, getting brighter and stronger until they finally burst and destroy the cloud of ice. You get closer. The rock you threw has disappeared, but something has appeared in its place. A bag filled with provisions. You grab it quickly. You're pleased that your little experiment yielded decent results. Oh, insulated boots. Nice. Pretty much uh, the only equipment's a lot that I didn't have anything in. Oxygen, experience, or less time cost. Mm, let's get less time cost. Let's get energy back. Okay, where's the next anomaly? Hmm. Oh. So this direction, and definitely not at the top. I think a similar elevation to what I'm at right now. Um, Hope this isn't a dead end. I want to head around the mountain this way. Oh wait, this is a dead end, isn't it? Yep, okay. Oh, why didn't, why didn't I go up to that one first? Ah, well. Pretty much out of energy.
Let's sleep long. At this point, I want another tent. Oh, dang it. Uh, oh, we'll lose a crap ton of temperature if we do that. Let's try to jump. Eh, we just get scraped a little bit. We're fine. Hmm. What are these ones? Approaching the camp doesn't seem to work. Let's just check the slopes. Well, it still doesn't freaking work. Someone still hit me in the goddamn head. <laughs> Stop hitting my noggin. Get more stuff for waking up or... Reduce penalty for sleeping without a tent. I'm feeling like there's a pretty good chance I'm going to be sleeping without a tent, so... Let's take that. Yeah, let's get out of the death zone. Let's go around the mountain out of the death zone so we get our oxygen back. Like, if I rested without the tent, yeah, you can see how that affects our sanity and our temperature. So even with sleeping under the stars, we still take a pretty bad bite to temperature. And to sanity. Our sanity is actually not very good at all. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about that now. Want to keep our oxygen above 60. Got to remember that because we have that thing that only is active when it's over 60. Sanity. Sanity. Or energy, I suppose. Sanity. Yep, let's just keep heading around the mountain like I'm doing. That's a lot of nasties. Let's use safety rope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Holy shit. This is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, it's a dead end. No. <laughs> like, well, guess I can go this way. Wait, you can't get through that there either? No. Hmm. Well, I need to sleep anyway. That's the last use of my tent. Shit, we really are going to be sleeping under the stars. Hmm. a really nasty climb to that one. I don't know if it's much better going this way though. This one's also no, this one's also nasty. Lots of dead ends here. This is all dead ends. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take this. Ugh, I hate it.
Let's take sprint. Mostly for the temperature. Plus two body temperature per hour when moving. thoroughly search the tents, I'm going to freeze to death. Let's just continue. Health or sanity? Sanity. You march up a hill where the wind has left wavy patterns in the snow cover, endless, uniform. Hypnotized, you take one step, step after the other. Suddenly you slip and land on your behind. You slide down the slope at breakneck speed, your arms flailing wildly. Finally you come to a stop, your heart pounding against your ribs. That was close. Oof. So that's just a random bad event. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't random. Yeah, we were on a yellow tile. I didn't realize. Man, where are all the caves? Ah, there it is. Yeah, just up there. Oh, and there's a cave a bit further up there. Uh, but we are going to be in the... Actually, we're already in the death zone. But it's fine. I have an oxygen mask. Doubt I'm going to have the energy to reach the top. don't have food. I have very little. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to reach the top. Glad I took under the stars. Do I have enough to reach this? This could give me energy, but I don't think I'll have enough. Oh, I do! Yes! Well, I'll take sanity. There goes all that sanity. Ow. Explore the fault. Using my flashlight. Some snow boots. Hmm. Well, if my temperature gets nice, I'll put those on. But yeah, let's sleep.
I feel like we've seen all the anomalies at this point. Wait, actually I'm not sure. We stuck one limb in and then one another foot also moves into the anomaly and then the other and then we're inside. Okay, you're surrounded by blue light. You breathe deeply and regain sanity. Ooh, whenever you reach a point of interest, gain three sanity. That might be worth it. That's worth it. I'm taking that. Oh man, is this all a dead end down here? It must be. Okay, where are we heading anyway? Is that general direction? Okay. Let's head down. Oh, I'm in, still in T mode. Let's use that. I am worried about energy. So I'm gonna put snow boots on. I know I'm not actually on snow at the moment, but I will be. I don't want to micromanage it that much. Oxygen bottle. My oxygen is below 60. At that point, we're going to be out of the death zone. I feel like I need to spend some time out of the death zone. Ooh, I see a cave over here and a treasure chest. Yeah, let me... Let's just head over here. There's another cave. Yeah. I think we need to gather some resources and recuperate a bit. In both those caves are in the death zone. Yeah, I don't think I can sleep in them. I need to sleep out of the death zone. I'm just about to run out of energy. Ah, shit. I think I need to get out of the death zone and sleep, actually. I'm kind of worried. I'm not doing very well. sleep. 
go that way, but let's use the rope. So we don't get the penalty from the blues. Follow the wind. Oh, we took a hit to temperature, but we got an O2 bottle. Some freaking events. And yeah, we need to be out of the death zone. Our temperatures are really bad. I'm going to put the insulated boots back on. Out of the death zone. Ah. My god, look at how bad my temperature is. Holy shit. Health or warmth? Warmth. Oh, I see a couple caves over that way, and this is all out of the death zone, I think. I'm not climbing back up into the death zone. I need to stay out of the death zone. get sanity right now every time we hit a point of interest ding oh this is not not nice a swarm of flies hovers above a trench their buzzing sounds unusually loud and strange to you heart pounding you peer over the edge of the trench at the bottom you see a pile of human corpses intertwined their faces covered in black spots Ugh. Mmm. I could examine them. I'll lose some sanity. I really don't want to do that. So maybe I'll just keep my distance and look around the area. The spots on the faces of those corpses are very strange. You'd better not get too close. You find a bag hidden in some shrubbery a little ways off from the trench. It must have belonged to one of the dead people. There are a few provisions inside. You ignore your pangs of guilt as you tuck the provisions into your own pack. Yeah, it's easy going down here. Relay station. Stay and look around. I think because of all my bonuses, I'm actually going to gain temperature and oxygen by staying to look around. I think just because I would normally, even if I was walking. So let's do that. Oh no. We got some equipment, but we also have an injured leg. 30% energy cost on all terrain. God damn it. But we can actually overcome that partially with our climbing rope. Hmm. Less time cost. Well, oxygen's above 60%. That would be nice. Uh, 
Uh, decrease sanity loss when moving, but additional sanity loss when resting or in events. No, thank you. Fresh air. Because that, I think, ends up reducing your sanity loss just by things taking less time. Our energy is super low. Did we have a can of food? We do. Necrosis. Your upper arm starts to itch intensely. You scratch, but it only gets worse. As you peel back your clothing to examine the itchy spot, the blood drains from your face. A dark red fissure is eating its way deep into your skin, just like the corpses in the trench. You feel faint with terror. Oh. I can remove the itching skin. I don't even... Oh, I don't want to know what that's like. Sweat beads on your forehead as you press the knife to your skin. If you don't act now, the rash will spread to other parts of your body just as quickly as it first appeared. If you really have contracted flesh-eating bacteria, you need to remove the infected tissue immediately. I'm not going to read that part. That's... Ooh, that wrecked our sanity. Shit. Oh. That's really bad. We're about to hit critical sanity. Fuck. <sighs> We're gonna get horrible events happening frequently now. Come on, please let this restore our sanity. Uh, the world around you suddenly turns dark. Out of the darkness, a shadow reaches out to grab you. I defend myself. The shadow reaches into your abdomen and you feel a thousand hot needles in your intestines. You succeed at ripping the shadow away from you. Oh, that hurt. Jesus, I'm gonna use a bandage. Come on, please, please. Sanity, sanity, oh thank God. Oh. Hmm. No, I'm not going to search the camp and ruin my sanity. Sleep. God, did we desperately need that? Hmm. There's not many, like, there's not really many places I can go that aren't in the death zone. Okay, where even do we need to go next? Yeah, up here, I guess. I could take a peek and see I think we need to stay down here longer, honestly. I think we need to take an even bigger detour. I need higher sanity. And I need a tent. I really need a tent. God, 
God, it's so freaking bright. My God. Please, chill. Okay, that gives us a bunch of sanity back. Whew. I'm not seeing a lot more over here. Also, this entire place is one... Holy sh... Wow, yeah, there's some really, really, really nasty, um, impassable areas. Like, you can't go through anywhere from here to here. If you want to get over there, I have to go either way up here or way up there. So, I think at this point I should just continue on to my goal. Especially with that sanity boon, maybe I'll be okay. Sprint, I guess? Sure. This mission's scaring me. The other one was a cakewalk, but geez. <sighs> By the other one, I mean the last one. No. Oh, dig my oh, dig myself out. Yeah, I don't actually. I gain temperature doing that because of all my bonuses. Nice. Whew. Okay, into the death zone. Take my cli climbing rope. Actually, wait, did I use it? Oh, I did use it. Shit. Um, it's obvious I'm gonna have to sleep, so I should probably do that out of the death zone. Ah, I'm gonna sleep away the night. Dang it. Ooh. I'm gonna have to long sleep. I need the energy. Okay, hold on. Now I'm gonna climbing rope again. And yeah, energy is more important at the moment, so I'm gonna snow boots. You reach an expansive plateau. A thick fog bank hangs over a depression in the rock. You stare into the gray mass for a while, wondering if it's concealing something. You find it odd that the fog doesn't seem to be dissipating or spreading at all. Hmm. 
Well, if I look around the outside of the fog bank, I don't lose any sanity. So, let's do that. You tiptoe around the edge of the fog bank. You hear a muffled hammering and rattling. It's barely audible. Then it stops. What was it? You strain your ears to listen. Silence. Just as you're beginning to wonder if you imagine the noise, it starts up again. It's coming from the fog bank, and it sounds metallic. You turn to walk away as you discover a box half hidden in the fog. You pull it out and find provisions. What provisions? It didn't give me anything. Lies! Absolute lies! Last use of the climbing rope, because we have some big climbs. As you walk past a massive crevice, you hear faint cries for help. Looking into its depths, you identify an unfortunate mountaineer at the bottom of the chasm. Climb down to save him, I'll get some sanity. Carefully you climb down, shortly before reaching the bottom you slip and land next to the unfortunate mountaineer. With great effort you manage to save the mountaineer. His gratitude is beyond words. Ooh. Health. <laughs> I'm gonna have no energy! <laughs> oh, at least it's giving me sanity, but I'm about to lose that sleeping, cause... Yeah, I can't freaking move anywhere. Ugh. I guess I'll just sleep briefly. Explore the tunnel. Flashlight! Yes! Okay, now we're in business. Level up a bandage and some food. Let's sleep long. I'm going to need the energy, undoubtedly. Let's use the bandage because my health is disturbingly low. Level up. Hmm. It's going to have to be take it slow. I get more for waking up. Everything else just doesn't make sense right now. slope. Uh, do I spend energy or temperature and oxygen? Temperature and oxygen. Oh, there's... Really? Oh, that's horrible. I don't think that's worth it. Oh, there's so many yellow tiles I'm going over. This sucks. <laughs> this is tough.
fairy lights. Approach it carefully. We get some sanity. Whew. Okay, I think it's probably pretty close. Migratory birds. A flock of migratory birds flies over your head. You gawp incredulously as the animals change formation and make shapes in the heavens. Migratory birds are extremely rare at these altitudes, but the sight of them warms your heart. As the birds slowly disappear over the horizon, you think about all the mysterious and inexplicable things you've encountered during your journey. Are they the result of natural phenomena? Are they anomalies? Or could the mysterious occupiers be behind them all? You still don't understand what's happening here, but something inside you tells you that you'll find what you're looking for. Ooh, a good amount of sanity. Whew. Mysterious stranger. <gasps> the freebies one. A oh, tent. Yes! Okay, I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah. Whew. Things are finally starting to look up. Is this anomaly? You think I would see it by now? Ooh, how much does this cost? It doesn't even show you; just shows you taking all of your energy. But yeah, that is a hell of a hell of a fall. It's got to be quite close. Like, is it somewhere down here, and I just can't see it? I don't know. I'm going to need energy. So close, I might as well go get this. Ugh, corpse in the ice. Um, examine it, I guess. Well, I got XP and some hot tea. Nice. I definitely need the hot tea. I'm going to use it. Get more sanity and XP. Ooh, better oxygen. Under the stars. Well, hopefully I don't have to sleep under the stars anymore. Let's get oxygen. Follow the smell. Get XP. I don't know if I want to sleep because oxygen. But I do for sure need some energy. 
course. Um, let's sleep briefly. We have a bunch of trades down here. Oh, there's the anomaly. I guess it only appears when you get really close to it. Sprint. Oh no. Detour is going to ruin our oxygen. This is going to hurt our sanity. Uh, let's take sanity for now. Oh shit. We also got injured torso. Hurts to breathe. Oh no. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, what do you want to trade? They want my fur gloves? I can't I can't trade those. Not with how cold it is. Oh, shit. Oxygen or energy? Oxygen. Right? Yeah, oxygen. A boulder grabs your attention. It's virtually rectangular and its edges are smooth as if someone has worked it into this shape. But that's not all. There's also a tent lying neatly wrapped on the rock. An offering? Your inner voice urges you not only to take but also to give. What will you leave in its place? Oh, I can't give up my oxygen bottle. And I'm definitely not taking without leaving anything. I guess I don't want to trade then. Hopefully this gives us back some stuff. You touch it, it's almost fluid. You step into it. Oh, it's the young girl. Um, do I want drink or food? Well, hmm. I guess I could use both, for sure. I think food is most important right now. Two cans of food. Oh, and you get some sanity and experience. Nice. Yeah, energy will keep me going, because I kind of need to keep moving, and I'm worried about my oxygen. Okay, just one more anomaly, and then we need to head to the exit. to be down there in the valley. So I think we can head down.
micromanaging that a little bit. Ooh, spiders. Mm. Okay, I'll give up a little sanity because I know we'll get something. Ooh, charm. 20% energy, 20% less energy on all terrain. Oh, but it hurts our sanity. I can't use that. No, I can't use that. My sanity is too precious. More experience. This one's not going to be active because my sanity isn't high enough, so it's got to be the more experience. Oh yeah, there's no good route to that. Just need to head down. Close to being out of the death zone. Wishing tree, health or energy? Energy. Hmm. Give up energy. <laughs> ah, no, and we still got an injured hand. 30% energy cost. When climbing, large height differences. The snow under your feet is churned up as if recently moved around. Could someone have been digging here? Dig deep. You kneel down and use your hands to dig through the snow. You can feel the cold creeping up your arms. To your surprise, you suddenly find an old two-way radio in the snow. It's silent. The wet snow has obviously damaged it. Disappointed, you continue your journey, but you spend some time thinking about the person who left the radio behind. Yeah, we get a huge amount of XP, because nighttime is double XP, and then we have Explore the Mountains, which is 75% more XP. They want to trade my tent? No.
Oh, our sanity is so low. Let's rest. Sprint. Oh, and there's the anomaly just right next to us, actually. Uh, there's been an avalanche here recently. There's a vacuum flask of tea. Oh no, we know how this goes. I'm just going to continue. really need something to get my sanity back. Thankfully there's tons of events here. Corpse in the ice. Uh, examine the corpse. That didn't give us any sanity or hurt our sanity. Surprisingly. Sanity, please. Yes! Oh. Whenever you uh, reach a point of interest, gain five sanity. Yes, we're taking that. Hmm. You immediately reach for your notebook to document what you can see. You go a bit closer. No question, this is the energy source. Can you tap into it? Your scientific curiosity must be satisfied. You hold your hand up to the apparition. Sparks fly over your fingertips. You feel the power of the anomaly and receive... Sanity. And that's how we leave. Okay. I feel like we're fine now. I don't feel super, super comfortable, but I feel... moderately confident. Not enough to be totally reckless. But enough to be a little reckless. Let's collect some bonus XP. Attempt to grab the backpack. We got it. High quality snow boots. Nice. Hmm. Cross the snow bridge. If we get hurt a little bit, we're fine. There's a chest. Dig it out. High quality climbing axe. Yeah, nice. Um, guess I'll replace my flashlight with it. Shrine. Let's get sanity. Well, I'm going to have to sleep, so let's just go for it. Don't have the energy to make that. But we might if I do an intelligent route.
Procession. Several locals approach you with spades on their backs. They're carrying a long object wrapped in a cloth. A procession. You listen to their monotonous, guttural singing, which they do not halt, even when your eyes meet. Their otherworldly song is full of pain and sorrow. Talk to the strangers. A man with deep wrinkles on his face points to the cloth. You recognize the outline of a human body beneath it. The man reaches into his pocket and pulls something out. With tears in his eyes, he hands you a gift. Then he turns around, walks over to a young man with broad shoulders, and rejoins the mysterious song. Oh, thank you for the hiking staff. It's very kind. Buried alive. Hmm. Dig slowly. I'll lose temperature. It's fine. I don't know if it is better to go there. I know we're hitting a lot of snow, but... Mm. That's a weird route. But then from there... Oh, we still wouldn't have enough energy. Let's try it anyway. Maybe I can make a little tweak to it. Hmm. No, I don't see a tweak. Oh, that's in the death zone. Well, we're probably going to have to sleep, so let's just sleep here. And my tent has dissolved away. One final event. Oh, hold on. Family tragedy. There's a pile of snow at the foot of the slope. An avalanche must have hit here recently. A series of very regular holes in the snow catches your attention. Someone's been digging here. But for whom? Or for what? You're reminded of the procession. Didn't those men have spades on their backs? Let's take a closer look at the holes. There's a piece of paper lying in the snow. No, a photograph. One of an old man flanked by two strong young men. A father and his sons. Their eyes beam with joy. You recognize one of the faces. You carry on digging, but there's nothing more. Just endless snow. Yeah, so that was the procession. Well, it doesn't really matter what we get. More experience, I guess. Sure. Bunker. Walk through the door. Continue down the main passageway. I don't know what happened, but we got a tent. Sweet. Yeah, that was the first mission where I've actually been worried and concerned about us surviving. That was tough. That was touch and go. Oh, we got 20 more capacity. And we unlocked a bunch of high quality versions of equipment. You wake up in the station with one thought plaguing you. 
How long have you already been on the island, unwittingly trapped in this time loop? Hard to say, months, years? It might sound strange since time is basically the only thing I think about, but I've also lost all sense of it. You have more questions you want answered. How did the stranger get into the station? And how does she know about the experiments that took place here? You should know that I'm not here by chance. My father is the lead researcher, or he was, I mean. When the accident happened, I must have lost consciousness. When I finally woke up, I was alone. I was just a girl, and I was afraid. I was scared to set foot outside the door. When I eventually realized that my father wasn't coming back, I started to look for an escape. I ventured out of the station and met people, but when we saw each other again, they didn't remember me. Everything out there kept repeating, but not in here. It was like a puzzle where the pieces didn't really seem to fit. Even after all these years, I still feel like I only understand a tiny fraction of what's going on. You probably feel like I've deceived you, but please believe me when I say that was never my intention. I just want to get out of here like you do. You have some event knowledge? Alright, well, I think I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we have five other potential quests to do.